grew a lot. For today, we will investigate the white trail left behind the plane in the sky. Does it contribute to climate change? When you peer at the sky on a bright day, you can often see crisscrossing white lines left behind by aircraft. But, have you ever wondered how they are formed or why? We've investigated this phenomenon. Over to you, Grania. Hello, my name is Grania, and I'll be interviewing some passengers here in Dublin Airport. Hello, do you know what causes a war trail left behind the airplane in the sky? I have no idea, and nor do I care. Do you think it contributes to climate change? I'm off to the Caribbean. I don't care about climate change. Ooh, okay, thank you. The white trail left behind the airplane in the sky. Oh my god, am I on telly? Would you like to know where I'm off to? Oh, okay, thank you. Paris with my new boyfriend. I'm so excited. Oh, okay, um. And now we are going to interview Sir Michael O'Leary, founder of Ryanair. Hello, Michael. Do you know what causes the white trail left behind the airplane in the sky? I have no interest in anything that isn't making me money. Do you think it contributes to climate change? What? Are you crazy? Who sent you? Someone from the Green Party? Well, I know it wasn't Leo as he loves flying to all those love islands with us. I don't accept that climate change is real. Thank you. Well, lots of happy holiday makers there. Sadly, no answer to our questions. Let's go back to the lab and see if they can answer them. Well, Treasure, do you know what causes a white trail left behind an airplane in the sky? Well, the trails left behind by planes are officially called contrails, short for concentration trails. They form a bit similarly to how the breath you exhale can condense into vapour on a cold day. Well, a bit like this. In short, contrails are formed when the water vapour in the exhaust from the plane's engines condenses into water droplets which then freezes into ice particles composing a line-shaped cloud. So Treasure, do you think it contributes to climate change? A scientific consensus on this has yet to be reached. Oh well, till next time, goodbye from all here at St. Angela's National School Lab.